This time, friends, I got something hot, hot, hot for you. But it involves Chris Pratt. That's right, friends. It's your man Z here, and I am here to give you a recommendation for once. Normally, you are the see me ranting and raving about absolute dreck that I am forced to watch, like numerous Marvel series or the latest thing that comes out from DC that is absolute garbage. But today, I am here to uh, refer something to you. That's right. I'm going to refer to you the terminal list with chris pratt chris pratt's return to television but there seems to be a controversy i'm gonna get into the show a little bit but first let's talk about the controversies the terminalist author just responded to all the negative reviews of chris pratt's amazon series very strange to see apparently there's some outspoken detractors and uh we'll we'll get on to this apparently they worked very hard to make its action very realistic and grounded they brought in a lot of actual um, operators to make sure that the show made sense the writer is jack carr who is a former navy seal and the show is about uh, the story of a navy seal commander who ends up in an ambush in syria and loses most of his team and has to resolve the issues with that as he suffers an injury is unclear whether or not uh they were actually ambushed or were they set up and uh has a lot of twists and turns very tight political thriller uh also some good journalist stuff in there i really really like this show and uh amazon's starting to change my mind not gonna be super psyched about lord of the rings don't get me wrong but reacher and the boys color me uh i might be wrong but those are some two pretty good shows i really enjoyed reacher i i never read the books but i really and the movies were just eh really enjoyed that this though i really 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 like this i thought this was shot beautifully antoine fuqua was uh the showrunner and the director of the pilot just thought it was fantastic so the writer himself says uh, his his understanding is it falls right in line with everything that I understand about the current culture and climate in America right now. It seems to have triggered quite a few of these critics. Said the 95% viewer rating, audience rating, makes it all worth it. We didn't make it for the critics. We made it for those in the arena. We made it for the, for the soldier, sailor, airman, and marine that went downrange to Iraq and Afghanistan so they could sit on the couch and say, hey, these guys put in the work, they put in the effort to make something special and make a show that speaks to them, and that 95% rating makes me let me know that we at least got close. I think that's a really good way to think about it. You know? Makes sense to me, right? Uh, I think it was a really good show, but we'll explore it a little bit more. This first review here says, uh, and this is from robertebert.com, the Prime Video's terminal list is an alpha male cry for help. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, based on the novel by Jack Carr, the, with, a, with a doozy of a pilot directed by Antoine Fuqua, the terminal list is more or less, takes place within the mind of someone who's shown to be not right in the head. But what's bizarre about this show is not poor taste, it's how much its rambling plot plays into conspiracy theory wish fulfillment. And that and and it's full of that affirming horror that Reese is right. I'm pretty sure that the the show itself discusses things like it's anti-corporate and anti-government, so I'm not really sure where the conspiracy theories come in place here. I think that's a bad like connection. It's definitely a little bit of a throwback type show. It's definitely more of a thriller. He is uh, definitely an unreliable narrator. Uh, let's look at one more for the reviews here. Let's see. It says, The Terminalist Review. 
Chris Pratt is a gun-loving killing machine in tedious Prime video series. Pratt plays a traumatized Navy SEAL. Okay, fine. Um, this person didn't actually... Oh, uh, apparently the book series has four more installments, which is a little strange to me. Not 100% sure that I could get behind any... This is just... It's great as one season. Does not need anything else. I'm 100% okay with them not continuing this. I think it was fantastic the way it is. Maybe you don't touch it any further. I don't need this to be a Jack Ryan or anything like that. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know anything about the author. I don't know anything about the show other than what I saw. But man, people really struggle with uh, Chris Pratt, who happens to be an executive uh, director on this. Uh, it's definitely a revenge story. I don't want to give away too much about the plot. Because I think this is... Uh, <laughs> is uh, <laughs> It's interesting because they say... Uh, so basically the show is about Chris Pratt torturing and killing a whole lot of people like a charmless Dexter or Arya Stark. Okay, fair enough. What's interesting to me is that they don't talk about any of the other actors in the show other than Chris Pratt. Now, what's interesting to me is Chris Pratt, this is the, mo the most different I've ever seen Chris Pratt in. Uh, if you've ever seen, wanted to see Chris Pratt be a cold-blooded um, torturer and murderer, this this might be right up your alley. At first, I was a little distracted because he doesn't necessarily look like himself. I think they have a weird wig on him, which I'm not a big fan of. It's not a perfect series, but I think it's a good series. But he really falls into the role, and that like sense of bewilderment kind of show like he, he shows it a lot but it's really a heartbreaking story but i really think you're not giving any justice to the other actors in the show who help make this show absolutely uh fantastic which is a shame because they're focused so much on chris pratt and how much they hate him that they can't really focus on what's good about it uh constance Wu, taylor kish gene triplehorn riley keogh all fantastic absolute constance Wu plays a reporter and she's absolutely fantastic in this i think she every scene she's in she steals the the show because chris pratt's kind of doing his thing and he's this like tortured seal but every scene she's in i'm captivated i think she's absolutely fantastic in this i had no idea she was such a great actress but really great taylor kitsch you may or may not know him from probably the biggest bomb ever to be filmed, which would be um, John Carpenter from Mars. If you ever watched that where he's a bouncing gummy bear, <laughs> bouncing around on Mars being a warrior. Um, yeah, not a great movie, but shockingly, he's really, really good in this. I really enjoyed his portrayal of Ben Edwards. Jean Triplehorn shows up as a, uh, I think she's the Secretary of State, Madam Secretary, Lorraine Hartley, fantastic. Uh, Riley Keough, who I'm pretty sure is a musician, plays Lawrence Reese, Chris Pratt's wife. And Chris Pratt does a ton of heavy lifting. There's not a ton of dialogue. There's a lot of like not talking, but I think it's beautifully shot. It's just, I think it's 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 fantastic. I cannot recommend, this is one of my highest recommendations. And in the Rotten Tomatoes score, it's it's just, the, the parody is shocking. It's just, it's unbelievable. The audience score has it at 95%, which I'm right there with them. It's not a perfect show, but it is really good. I really recommend this. 41% from the critics what is going on here we'll dig a little bit deeper right come down the rabbit hole with me the critic consensus while chris pratt fully commits himself to the terminalist mission the thrills unrelenting gruffness is no meat and all potatoes i swear i'm telling you every episode was it is it, very tense you don't exactly know what's going on in fact, I would tell you it is hard at times to even root for Chris Pratt. Um, his character is its, it's very ambiguous whether or not he's doing the right thing. Um, 
But here's some reviews. If you enjoyed Jack Ryan and Reacher, this is the show algorithm would say you should watch next. Ignore it. <laughs> I just, Jack Reacher, it's all right. I like the first season. Couldn't get committed to the second. Very slow, hard to get into. Reacher, I'm into. I liked it real good. I thought the lead actor really nailed it. This was even better in the direction is even better i mean anton fuqua's influence is all over this it's beautiful at times it's very dark but very beautiful uh it's a hard sell if only due to the murky filming of the action or just the relentlessly grim narrative it's a little grim i don't think it's boring i thought it was pretty exciting uh i don't know a lot of negative a lot of negative i don't know a wasted opportunity the equilibrium between intentions and results is indisputably present throughout, but doesn't get in the way of the monotony at times. I 100% disagree. I just think it's it's uh, super interesting. Really, good. I'm not even into these type of shows. I am not into mil military thrillers. That's not really my bag. You know, Jack Reacher I watched because, you know, John Krasinski was in it. I watched Reacher specifically because the guy from Titans was in it. I watched this because Chris Pratt was in it. But if you ask me, like, I didn't watch the, the Jack Reacher. No, I didn't watch Jack Ryan. I didn't watch the one with um, Chris Pine in it because I don't really care that much for that type of... Um, I'm not super into the political thrillers. They're not my bag. But I, I just thought this was great. At first, I was a little skeptical. I watched it because it's my duty to review these things. But I got into it, and it's heartbreaking. And even the acting from, uh, like I said, I just thought the acting was first, like, top quality. It gave me a little bit more insight into the seals than I think I've seen in many other shows. So, can't recommend it enough. You will not waste your time if you watch it. I'm telling you, it's got the Z stamp of approval. This is good stuff, folks. Now, if you don't like political thrillers, torture, and people getting shot a lot, all right, I get you. You might not be into this. But as far as me, I this is right up my alley. So I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know. Did you think Chris Pratt pulled it off? You're used to the lovable, fun-loving Chris Pratt. Chucking jokes. There's a deed is not crack a single joke in this. You are not going to laugh. You might cry, but you're not going to laugh. I promise you. Anyway, catch our full-length audio podcast. It's free. Stitcher, Spotify, all those other places and more iTunes. Totally free. Please download it. We love the support. If you like what we do here, like and subscribe always helps. We'd appreciate it. Definitely helps us do what we're doing here as we continue to, to grow and get a little bit bigger. Um, we live stream this, the full-length audio podcast. We live stream it on YouTube. You can catch it Friday nights. 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. But as for me, I am on to the next one.